Well, you, you bring up the engineering side. I, I know there's all kinds of engineering. I sit here and look at my equipment, uh, where the equipment is going through as far as tillage. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the same basis. We have, Will has that limbkin out there. All right, so you have that limbkin versus that disc sitting there. There's two different, that tillage equipment right there has come so far that that, that limbkin, you're making one pass across the field where that disc would take three passes, do the same thing that limbkin just did. I'm a salesman and grain merchandiser where I cover Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, parts of Texas. So I've got a rather large area and I've worked for them for two years now. I've been in the seed business for 10 years though. I started out as soon as I got out of college, I did an internship for Akron Gold. This is all I've done. So I got my master's in Ag Econ from the University of Arkansas, with the emphasis on foreign trade policy. Went completely polar opposite of what I was doing until I, with what my undergrad, my degree was in until I started working for Irwin Keith and now I'm doing a little bit of merchandising for them now as well. I wanted to be in Ag. I wanted to be on the, at the time, farming, being on the farm wasn't a option. So this was the closest thing to being on the farm was getting in the Ag, in the, in the seed business. And, and went from there and studied and got to where I could be out where I'm doing now. The internship and the masters really opened a lot of doors for me. Hi, uh, I'm Will Coleman. I am a crop advisor for Simplot. Uh, I'm also a farmer uh, for rice, beans, and corn of my operation. You know, every day, anything a farmer needs, you know, I help them, I pull soil samples for them, I scout their crop, I pick out varieties. Uh, graduated college and I started uh, scouting cotton in 2013. All I did was scout up until 2000, fall of 2017. Then I took a job with, was Sanders, which is now Simplot. Uh, and then 2019, I started farming a little bit on the side for myself as well. I was, I was born in Holly Grove, a couple miles down the road that way. Town of what, 600, 700, very small. Mom didn't quite make it to the hospital because if you know her very well, she runs late to a lot of things. <laughs> but grandmother used to have a store right here in front of the, in front of the shop. And I have a lot of memories growing up right here. Yeah, I went to the University of Arkansas. I started there in 2009, graduated in 13. I got my bachelor's in uh, at the time, they called it uh, crop management, which is basically agronomy degree, uh, minor in ag business and pest management. Uh, I start my day anywhere from 4 to 4.30. I mean, phone calls start coming 5.36 and, you know, running fertilized late as midnight, 1, 2 o'clock, trying to beat rains. Uh, you know, anything to help grow. I mean, it, 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 times are tough now on, on, on farming and, and in the economy. I know at first hand, I've, I'm in it myself too. Yeah, just like this field here and this field here, these two are mine, one right across the road, that's one of my customers. I check it just like it's mine. You know, I feel responsible for the crop they make. At some point, I, I pick varieties for everybody. I pick, you know, what fertilizer they do uh, based off the soil samples and everything. So you might as well say we're consultants. My days normally start about five o'clock and 5.30 I start taking phone calls and eight o'clock I can start getting into the office and letting getting shipments sent out and, and then it just goes until the planters quit at night and I don't ever know where I'm going to end up. I'm married, I have two kids, I've got twins, it'll be six in January. So that's kind of what I'm working on now with all my cancer and everything that I've had that I've been dealing with. I had not been able to be out in front of my growers and, and customers like I need to. So one thing that I've done with my company is they have opened the door up for me to be able to kind of keep my distance from, from customers right now and still be able to out working every day. An opportunity that Will and I had as children growing up was our mother worked for Farm Bureau and was the one that got started with Ag in a Classroom program at J.T. Robinson in Little Rock. And the first project, they kind of started it here on the farm. And Will and I were there just getting to see it all and now that program has grown to what it is now. So we got, Will and I got to be interacting with all these kids from the city that had never been on the farm and the first project, I still actually sell that farmer that the project was on the first time and the project was here on our farm as well. So we've got to see it from an ag in the classroom perspective, introducing it to people to now doing it every day. 
These kids didn't know that food, where it came from. They said, they just thought they went to Kroger and they got their groceries from there and that's where it came from. Being able to show them this and show them where their actual rice came from and then taking it to the mill, taking it to Riceland and them getting the whole process and that's what a lot of people are wanting to see and that's something that they got to see was where it came from and where it goes and how, how it became a milled rice and how they could brought it, bring it back to the table. There's so much in agriculture, whether you're dealing with a computer every day or you're dealing with seed, you go from having a breeder that is doing genetic genome tracing and they're chipping and knowing what specific gene is in that plant, you have the ability to do whatever. You can be an agronomist, you can be a salesman, you can be a computer tech and you're a mechanic. There's so many options in agriculture that no other industry can give you.